Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about being organized. Now, this video may be a little bit similar to my minimalist video, so if you haven't seen that, you can go check it out, and I'll link it wherever and stuff like that. But anyway, being a minimalist means that I have less things to worry about, like less things that I have in possession of, like my dream catcher over there, my diplomas, my bed, yada, yada. It's not a whole lot of things, but being organized is keeping things, you know, in a certain way, stacked up, or instead of just having things messy, like all over the fucking place. Like, could you imagine me having a messy room? I wouldn't live with myself. I remember when I used to invite a friend over back in kindergarten, she would mess the hell out of my room. And then my mom was like, hey, you got to clean it up. And I was like, ugh. Because there were stuffed animals all over the place. I was pretty messy when I was a kid. Well, I tried not to be messy. But now, as soon as I got older, I didn't invite any friends over. And now I just have this organized room. I Like, whenever your parents say, hey, go clean your room. Don't have to worry about that because my room is already clean. The only thing I would ever have to worry about is ever getting it vacuumed, which my mom does that. And if ever, if I ever need anything organized, I'd do that. So if anything is in a specific order, I keep it that way. So if anyone ever messes with my stuff and rearranges it in a different order, I will kind of get upset about it because... I like to have my things in a certain way whenever I organize them. And if they're not in a certain way, I'll kind of get upset over it. I won't have a fucking temper tantrum over it like a little baby, but I will get a little upset over it. Be like, wait, that's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be this way. You know, you know how I organize my things. It's different than everybody else's. I remember when I used to work at the library a few years ago, my very first job, and my boss, his office was pretty damn messy. There were papers and documents all over the fucking floor, and I even volunteered, hey, can I clean your office? And he's like, don't you touch anything. And I'm like, okay, keep a messy room then. All right, fine. It's just, he said the reason why he keeps his room all messy is because he'll know where everything is. Which, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But if you have it organized and then in a certain pile, you'll you'll still find where it, where it could be, right? Or if you, like, label stuff. If you, like, organize your room and then label things. And if you try to find something, you'll look through all the labels. And then you'll find that specific label and, like, oh, there it is. Maybe that would be easier for him if he ever labeled, organized his his office, labeled everything. That would be way easier. And I'm speaking to not every boss in the world that does their job. They like to keep things the way they want to. Organized, messy, half organized or half messy. Depends on what they want to do. But do what you want. Like, I'm not... I'm not your mom or anything, or I'm not you. I'm just, just saying, like, just giving you some little advice. Like, what if you, one of your employees walks in your office and step, like, steps in one of your important documents with their with their muddy boots or something? You know, like, you don't want any of your stuff to be stepped on, right? You gotta at least keep some of your things on a high ground. You know, have the high ground. Stuff like that. That'd be a little easier for you. <laughs> and for some of your employers. They don't want to step they don't want to find anything they stepped on. It'll get ruined and your boss would get mad. Be like, hey, why did you step on that? It's kind of the boss's fault for keeping it on the floor. <laughs> Cause what do you expect? Someone's gonna step on it. Anyway, the way I keep my stuff organized is just the way it is. And that's all I have to say for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. 
all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.